Hello, oh, Scorpion 72, and today we're taking a look at a behemoth of a playset from Mattel, which is surprisingly, and that is the Batman v Superman Ultimate Batcave. So, this Batcave, as you can see, comes in a box, <laughs> and it shows you all these little features and stuff on the front of the box. Um, and what's really cool is that it comes with an exclusive Batman figure which is Bruce Wayne Unmasked and I have to say this is a so much better likeness of Bruce Wayne that we've gotten um, that this is not even a movie masters uh, figure this is the regular type of um, figures that are mostly meant for kids at lower price range and look at that it looks exactly like Ben Affleck and like the, the movie master one the removable cow doesn't even come close to this it's amazing so um oh the other little funny part here like is how it's like trilingual but this part here is very funny I find like figure cannot stand alone so looks like Batman needs friends to stand with or something so it has four levels of play it stands about four plus feet tall and has 20 plus features and accessories so we're gonna take a look at all those things right now look at all these pieces is what you need to to put together and build your ultimate bat cave uh, at least it comes with some nice uh, diorama type uh, scenery in the back so let's put this together and see how it turns out all right here we have the ultimate bat cave look at this behemoth it is quite tall and yes this is the ultimate bat cave from Mattel exclusive to Walmart so we're going to take a look at it um, I guess we'll start from the bottom level up or the top level down I'm really not sure um, first off the bat I don't have like a studio thing for this thing to really showcase it and stuff so I'm gonna do it the best I can to let you know if you guys get your money's worth if there's something you want there's something you want to add to your Batman collection what does it go with what does it fit with hey we're gonna go through all that so let's begin this thing is pretty nice, really solid. So right away, we're gonna go through the whole thing. Um, instruction sheets you get, it's a page of basically telling you all the pieces you should have, different languages. There's actually sticker sheets, so there are stickers to put on. It's like a 32 page of how to assemble it bit by bit. What I like is that in each lot of sections, it tells you the stuff that you need in order to complete the back cave. And then after it shows you where the stickers go, and then it tells you how to use it and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. All the features and stuff in the changeable parts for the back cave. It's really, really pretty neat. And a lot easier than I, I expected uh, it would be to assemble. Um, it only took me roughly about an hour. Uh, a little bit more than I can't really remember. Hey, it may take you less, but overall, it's going to take you more than an hour, hour and 15 minutes to put together. Even though extra pieces attached to the ladder to make sure that you don't lose these pieces because these are essential to the um, um, escape port uh, door. So, as you saw in my opening, um, I show you the figure that comes with this, which is basically an uncaped, unmasked Bruce Wayne. And I have to say, this figure really beats the Movie Masters figure out of the ballpark like look at the likeness of him it looks like Ben Affleck Batman I am surprised for this being supposed to be a kids line type thing and they've got a better sculpting of Bruce Wayne than we did in our movie masters line don't believe me take a look for yourself the one on the left is the movie masters and the one on the right is a regular toy line for kids here, Batman toy line. So his articulation is as follows. He's basically his head is on a regular semi ball joint. It can kind of go upwards, but I hear some cracking when I do that, so I don't really try and trouble that and anything like that. So I just leave it as is. Um, arms can that go outwards, but they go up and down. Single joint in the elbow with a swivel. There seems to be no waist articulation. Uh, leg can go outwards. Single joint in the knee. 
and no ankle rock or ankle pivot so it's very very basic as I said this is basically for like uh, not us collectors but kids uh, but with this likeness of uh, Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne it's really hard to pass up and the fact that it's a bat cave that really does fit the movie masters is another reason why it's hard to pass up as well so we're gonna start at the bottom here um, the sticker just shows how uh, I don't know what these are like really like um, chemicals and stuff this is when he I guess he's gonna create the kryptonite gun um, here you have a little picture here showing you him creating that rocket launcher gun um, if you turn this style you have here where he's showing he has his grappling gun and they show you like little tools that he's going to be doing to use that grappling gun and as well as you turn it again and then basically what it shows you is his techno helmet that um, I think he has as an armor piece there the alpha was building and stuff on and also what you're going to see in the Justice League as you saw from the pictures now beyond that these pieces here in the instruction it tells you they're removable which means you can interchange them with any type of hoop or hook like this it really allows you to uh, put them in any places like this there's all they're all over this whole uh, display case here and stuff like that makes it really easy here you have a little like uh, practice dummy which is pretty cool it's really wiggly and like you can pretend he's hitting it and everything like that so that's fine really cool um, here you can see there's some batarangs and stuff there they're not colored and here we have more grappling guns grenades his other um, his other like a sonic gun this is a gun that reminds you that he used in um, not this a uh, Batman but the other Batman from uh, Dark Knight Rises this is that sonic wave gun that he used there in that movie they have a g bigger grappling hook and all kinds of things it's all molded here non removable but this part here you turn this and it comes with weapons so basically as I said in my intro this comes with a batch of weapons already which is really cool that you could add to either your Batman where you collect the movie masters or um, the regular Batman line this thing is really cool because you have like the gas grenades, grappling gun some kind of like uh, arrow type um, crossbow thing you get four batarangs you get another weapon of his another like sonic device or whatever you want to call it Here's the gun there, I was telling you about, this is actually the one he used on Superman, I believe. This is the other gun from, like, it reminds me from, uh, Batman, uh, Dark Knight Rises, and handcuffs. So that's really nice, you see all, nice little cool weapons there. So this is this section here at the bottom, and now we're going to move to the other side to show you the other section here. So the other section here basically consists of the Batmobile, um, um, like a driveway or where it's you know a little garage so it's really cool so you can actually put the Batmobile that you have from the bat if you got the movie hopefully you got the movie Batmobile that really works well with this so you can have it here and these things are like um, basically to repair the Batmobile you have a little claw here it swings it twists same thing with this they're all twists there's another one over here that twists as well and maneuvers and stuff like that and then you can just have the Batmobile drive out. You have the Batmobile, you know, it has a little chest piece there. As I did in my review, this thing explodes and stuff. And what's really other cool thing about this is, is that you have the ramp. So basically you can fit any Batmobile you may have in your arsenal that you may want to put there. Like the Unlimited uh, Batmobile here, which is one of my favorites. Uh, I like this one. I like the style of the red and everything like that. It fits really well and really nice there. Now if you don't want to have it lean down like it's ready to just launch out of the garage, you can remove the, um, the grails here because the grails are actually a ladder which I'm going to show what it's for or what they said that you could use it for in uh, a little bit. I'm going to actually take them out right now and show you. Basically this here, these two pieces are removable and that's the cool thing about this bat uh, cave a lot of these pieces here are removable you can mix and match them here and there um, the ladder connects like this it's a little peg as you'll get it in your packaging let's just do that see there and there oops up oh, sorry I'm pulling it the wrong way no wonder it's not fitting so the ladder just goes right back in its place like that and it's actually pretty cool it collapses like this and everything so this ladder can basically be used for the side of the bat cave which I'm going to show you afterwards 
So if you don't want to have that, you can still have your Batmobile parked in the garage like that and be leveled with everything else along the claws and everything like that. And as I mentioned, these are easy to pop off, pop in, depending on your imagination or what's going on at the time that you're playing with your Batmobile in the garage. And let's not forget about this. It's a weapon here, a little rocket launcher thing with a kryptonite bullet. Just push it in and it fires out. And what's cool about this is apparently these are all removable and this hole, so say you want to fit this on the other side, just plug it into this section here and there you go. You have the panel on the other side for the same like garage piece there. And of course, you no longer have on that side which still looks pretty cool. So the next level consists of basically the kryptonite jail, which I called it when I saw it in San Diego. I knew the green thing would have the big kryptonite jail. And um, there is walkway space behind here, so you can actually put the figure. So you say you have like a, you know, your Batman Ben Affleck figure here. He can actually go here in the back and stuff like that. So there's a nice set of room, a lot of room here and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is here is that this is a secret door which I'm going to show you how that works and uh, in a moment and this part here is where you can clip the armor so he does come with armor pieces where he armors up in the movie and they include those snap on armor pieces for your Batman. Now it's time to armor up Bruce Wayne. So pieces come off like this, snap them on knees and legs and still bend even with that part on. Uh, shin guards. This reminds me of the Toy Biz uh, Iron Man from back in the early 90s there based on the cartoon where you got these little armor pieces they just snap on and everything like that. I know I'm talking about another property in a DC property but hey I'm just telling you what it reminds me of. Oh, there goes one of the shoulder pads. These things are not too sturdy. Unless I put them on wrong. Oh yeah, I put them upside down. So you have that, that, and helmet. The helmet is hollow. So basically it's not a helmet. It's not like it's something you put directly on. You just snap it on the front of his face. get it there. It doesn't fit too well so if you manage to get the armored uh, Batman you're probably better off with that. But this is the end result right here. And that's another thing about his articulation which is I'm going to discuss is that as you know it's very very limited but would have been really nice if that if his head can move up and down and give you a little like you know rotation that head to give it like a little ball joint but here he is all armored up so like i said it's a neat concept um it might be better if you get the actual one where it's all armored up i'm pretty sure for kids playing with this the armor pieces are going to pop off every now and then but nevertheless it's pretty it's still pretty neat pretty cool but it's not something i don't think i'll be using i'm not really fan of the snap on armor these days and stuff like back in the day it's really cool but i'm not really a fan so I think it's just going to stay on the wall in this bat cave as I have the armored uh, movie masters Batman and maybe I'll pick up the one for this line as well but yeah but so hey if, if that's the way you want to do it then you can pretend that he you know he loses peace bit by bit as he's battling Superman or whoever villains there are out there he's battling and then on the side you just have that little side power panel here and another thing is, this is another one of those changeable parts here. It's another little platform, so it flips up and stuff, and it is removable. So you see the platforms look like this. And like I mentioned, any of these little hook areas here and there and up here, you can basically just put them on very easily. And there you go. So these are really cool to have, and you can adjust them to your liking. Because it's your bat cave and it's up to you how you want to do it. And there's a little rain scene. 
Um, the other thing I didn't get to show you was the fact that there's control panels here and there. It says Wayne Tech. Not really bright if somebody comes in the back cave, that Wayne Tech, <laughs> in my opinion. Other things here, a little more stickers. The stickers are fine, and down here too, the Batmobile and showcasing all that. The stickers are very, very easy to put on. Even if you have big hands, small hands, it's very, very easy to apply these stickers. Unlike uh, the Ninja Turtle playset, which I find a little trouble because it has small ones. And yeah, it was very, very easy um, and very direct with the instructions. Just follow the instructions, you have no problem. So now we go into the next level here where you can see there's a ton of stickers. It's like a computer control center and everything, which is really, really neat. Um, here you have a platform which I'll explain in a moment. I'm just showing you the levels at first. Here's the part of the elevator. I left it at this level. This little piece is removable. Uh, not like that. But uh, let's see. There we go. So this piece is a stand that holds the figure in place when using the elevator if you want to but there's also a peg in there. Okay, and there we have the door, which is a very cool door, which I'm gonna show you also what that does. Um, next level here, as I'm moving along, don't worry, I'm gonna show you what all this thing does as I go along in a moment. Here we have the street level, it's supposed to be this like a um, kind of doorway to, I'm not quite sure if it's like an alleyway or a building, because now we're pretty high up. As you can see from the picture diorama, it's supposed to represent a rooftop, so that's like a roof entrance. Here you have another one of those Mitchell la missile launchers, which are all removable, so which means you can interchange all of these. Um, there's a little rain scene I was telling you about before on the outside of a uh, door. Uh, and up here, we have the bat signal, which the bat signal is just basically a reflector surface as you can see me with the camera and it reflect the surface so it's just gonna reflect the light off of it which would have been cool to have it lit up if it could light up a little LED would have went a long way in this thing a long long way nevertheless then we have this scene this is pretty particular because you see the bat sing the bat signal in the sky but really what it is a two-way thing so if you turn around and there you go all right feature number one trapping Superman so you see Superman here is over what this, is this tap door. There's a little peg here that you can put Batman on the ledge. And there's also a little cardboard peg that you fold up. You can have him in front of the, uh, the bat signal. Now in order to trap Superman, this panel here you have to slide. Make sure your hands are not in the way anyway here because he has to go through this trap door. It's quite neat. I tried it out earlier. So all you do is slide this panel like this and voila! He falls right into the cage. Of course, there's no way for anybody to step back here, but it's like a nice little secret pound you have Batman um, kind of jump out of. Seems like I'm wrong about that. All it takes is one of these pieces here that are interchangeable over the Bat Cave to add a platform behind that door so you can have an action figure or any figure standing behind that door without falling down. You close that back. This that allows you to return this. Back to its normal form. And to close this one, these two flaps here can now close and you have Superman trapped in the cage. Now to release Superman from the cage, you know he's lying down so he's kind of hard to stand up when he's in here. You kind of have to maneuver that. In order to do that, you have to open up the bottom of the cage. So it cannot open from any other side except for this button here. It's where you release Superman. So all you have to do is press the button and Superman is now free. And all you have to do is put this back up and it locks into place and Superman is free to go as long as he gets out of Batman's cake. <laughs> so Bruce Lee needs to get down to the other levels. This is the elevator comes into play. So this part, it was flipped up when you first get it, like this. So in order to maneuver the elevator, try to flip this part down and then you just slide it down like that and that gets into his other platform. Um, where you can just basically walk off here and go over to the control control panel you go over to this door what this door does is pretty neat so what you do here is you basically open the door it's 
really spring loaded and stuff like that. So you just basically put Bruce Wayne in there. Doors kind of closed by themselves. I'm not sure why that is uh, yet because we open them. I guess it's just a quick way to put them in. So it's like a secret door or something like that. So once you put them in there, there's a green button on the top. You press that. It's pretty loud. <laughs> I'll give you that much. It's very, very loud. These doors swing open and they don't go back closed because he's down here where you have to open the panel. And there he is. Like in the, kind of like in the movie he comes out. You can see there's a little like mold of fragment just in the little mold here of um, sculpting of Robin's suit and everything like that. We don't have the Joker paint or anything like that, but it's like Robin's armor with his um with his bow staff. So once you do that, now you can come out, you slide this back close, and in order to get these doors to close, you have to push back the elevator. So once you even that little slight little tug push up, I didn't even push the elevator all the way up yet, it's in the back. The door's kind of closing itself, but I put the elevator all the way back. So the elevator's there ready to go. And this panel can still open apparently. So you can just have him like standing there, but he can fall. And that's where he goes to armor up. So same concept, bring him down. Each level has a little hinge that stops him right at the level you want him to be. So you can go here, you can go and armor up and everything like that. I can go visit Superman in the jail cell. Um, I will point out a few things that I find for, later on you're going to see a real nitpicks. Because you know, if you watch my reviews, I basically tell how it is because this is like a $100 item at Walmart. It's exclusive to Walmart. So I'm going to let you know the pros and cons about what I like about this. And there are some things I don't like about this. And there are a few things that just don't make no sense. <laughs> so. Here we have him there and then you just do that one more time and then he's down at the ground level where he can this basically go here and analyze what he's building or he can just go and armor up and get some like weapons here and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. You can just go practice the practice dummy and all that stuff. So now let's take a look at the back of this bat cave. So all the inquiry minds that want to know, this is the back of the bat cave. Cardboard cutout, plastic molding, um, basically the panels here, you can see that. This is the elevator is telling you about that you can slide up and stuff. It even has like uh, sculpting in it so it's pretty detailed for an elevator that you barely probably won't see. There's the sculpting of the robin armor and costume. Here you have more panel thing here and there you have just the outlines of the sculpting thing and they have these like power generator stuff and if you turn it that way you can see where all the weapons are and here you have the garage I saw my Superman standing there and everything like that. The back of this back cave. That's it. Nothing to it. One other cool feature about this is the zip line. So basically you can get your Bruce Wayne figure if you have another Batman figure from the same line. I might, might possibly think about getting one of these because they're pretty cool. Not too bad. Articulation wise, they're not great. But they're really, really solid figures and really solid plastic. So that's one way you can hook them up. Or you can hook them up kind of like this. So what you're basically doing is going here, hook them up onto this, and then you just let them slide. And voila! Kind of unhook here. Let's try that again. Wasn't expecting that. I'm going to turn the gun a little bit more and then just allow them to lie down with a zip line. Another thing you can do is actually hold it out. So if you don't want to go like that, you just have them go like this and it's go and down he goes. So that's one of the features of the back cage is the zip line. And this can hook into any one of these panels here, these little hooks on the side have them slide or just go wherever you want, you can have them go around the back cave and stuff. And these guns are removable, so you can just basically take them out and plug them in someplace else that you wish. Even the instructions shows you that you can take off the back cave off the top. Take this gun out from here, put the gun on the top roof, and put the back signal, sorry about back cave, but the back signal down at the bottom. Which is pretty neat. So you can have this anywhere. These are a lot of interchangeable pieces. As I mentioned, you'll see in the instructions, 
you can change this any which way you want to your liking, to your playability, to the room you have, wherever you're placing this back, um, the ultimate back cave. It allows you to change pieces here and there. And that ladder I mentioned about can be placed on the side. They kind of show you this in the instruction booklet right here. So you can have anybody climbing up if they want to use the ladder instead. It's pretty neat and you don't have to use all of it. You can actually break it into two pieces like how they show you or how I showed you in the beginning where you have like it can be like a ramp or a, a grail piece for the bat cave is that sort for the batmobile the ladder can be broken up in two pieces you can have it any which way so like I said a lot of these parts are really interchangeable and they're not permanent for the bat uh, caves so it all comes down to your style and what you want from it these are some figures I find that look really cool the bat cave as you can see, I have the Movie Masters Batman with the kids uh, the version of Wonder Woman. I keep calling it kids version and stuff. But it's really just a uh, action figure there. Then you have like, you know, the custom thing there. You have like uh, Alfred and Bruce Wayne uh, in a suit. Then you have the Movie Masters Batman. Then you have the Batman that actually came there. There's Superman in the cage. And then you have the icons at the bottom. Which this works really well if you get into DC uh, icons. You can see the height and stuff is pretty perfect. It's pretty look. I think it'll work very well for any of your Batman's that you may have and stuff from whichever kind of company. Because of the height of the from the ground to the ceiling, it really really does not interfere with that. Actually, let's just go one step further and show it with a DC collectibles. 6.75 inch quarter figure meaning like the Arkham Knight Batman let's see how that looks. so here's a quick look at the Batman Mattel Batman and the DC Collectibles Arkham uh, Solomon Batman's first Batman can grab and stuff like that as you see clearly the height is not a problem of this bat cave so basically it work with any Batman you have as you see the height pretty much clears about 10 inches almost or well since he's a six inch quarter say about inch, eight inches so any figure you have whether it's bat well mostly this is for DC but even if you are at any other your line of your figures and stuff of like that while you're collecting the height will not be a problem Now it's time for my nitpick of things that make no sense in this bat cave. First of all, the bat signal with the bat light in the sky. Of course, that's the side of the moon when you flip it. But I guess unless you have it pointing up at the sky, it does make sense. But in a way, if you have them both showing at the same time, it does not. Next up is the two lever drop to the cage for Superman. To trap Superman, Superman could probably fly before he uh, fly out of this trap before he even gets into the cage. Let alone the back uh, trap door could give way and Bruce Wayne and Alfred could fall into the cage themselves. The secret door that does not close once you get into the elevator unless the elevator comes back up. Plus, let's not forget, it's right beside the back computer. I mean, an extra piece of diorama, piece of cardboard would have gone a long way to separate these two scenes. Like, really, you can just literally walk right in there. Then there's Superman's cage. Yes, you go visit Superman and say, I caught you, but how would you let him out? When the control panel's on the outside with no platform or anything to reach it or to activate it to release him other than the trap door below. And then there's a scene here. It looks like you're looking through a window or a rain scene, but when you look closely, you see stairs leading up to Bruce Wayne's bedroom or patio studio. So Superman can just walk up there and say, hey, Bruce, what's your problem with me? Let's not forget, it doesn't matter who's in the cage with the screen with Wayne Tech written all over it, it is not that hard for them to decipher that Batman is Bruce Wayne. The zip line that passes every level, yeah, I know I'm being a little too picky now. But then there's that man in the window. Who is this mystery man? Is it Bruce Wayne? Deathstroke? Who's watching the fight? Who's looking out through the ceiling? Who are you, mystery man in the window? And that's my nitpick of things that don't make any sense with this back cage. Some of them a little silly, some of them do they do make sense, but nevertheless, hey, it's still a great playset. I love it. So there you have it. My likes and dislikes about this ultimate back cave. 
This is exclusive to Walmart. Um, at first, it was supposed to be. It was led to believe that it was going to come out spring of next year, but as you can see, to that countering, they have decided to release this earlier. We saw this coming at the end of September. It's now October, which I got mine this roughly about a week ago. And it's very smart of Mattel to do that because it is the holiday season and any Batman fan, whether it's collector, kid, whoever it may be, this is a perfect, perfect Christmas gift to find underneath your tree and to have and play as a kid. I found myself playing with this a lot more than I thought I would and it's really nice it's not really really like a bat cave like uh we come to know and love and expect due to it being based off the batman versus superman movie but nevertheless it has a lot of cool little features um i like really like the fact that you get a lot of extra weapons and everything like that and it should be a lot of playability for kids and a lot of cool display options for collectors like myself this is going to go beside our joining up you see, with, it, with my other Batcave that I have uh, customized which I plan to do a video in the future of once I completely complete it so yeah that would be interesting to see how this really interacts to see if it actually fits and stuff nevertheless it's really really cool um, I guess we have to owe this Batcave to the fact that we got it because of basically Ninja Turtles sewer playset Lair which came out about two years ago they kind of really shown that playsets do still work with your 5 inch to an up 6 inch figures and stuff like that and they can be really marketable as the Turtles has really really shown that uh, it is possible Turtles, the Turtle playset basically shown and broke the mold and showed that it's really possible to have a playset that is made for kids and could be accessible for adults as well and make it successful. Alright, so that's my review of the Ultimate Batcave from Mattel, exclusive to Walmart. Um, it's available now, so if you want it, you better go get it because Christmas is just around the corner and this could be a hot item for kids and adults alike. Thank you so very much for watching. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Scorpion72 telling you to enjoy your toys. And until next time, keep playing. I am the knight. I'm Batman. One, two, three, four. I like videos. You like videos. I love toys. And you love toys. You go wild.